Hi there! The topic of our briefing is Great Revivals by Graffiti and Creativity. Our project originated from an article of new paper. We read our MRT on our way to school. It introduced a hostile name. I'm in Taipei. We are surprised to find that all constructions can be revived because of graffiti and creativity. Actually, I'm in Taipei used to be a getting old and decayed construction. And the hotel's original name is Jolo Hotel with 46 year history. It used to be run by an 80 years old lady who planned to shut down the hotel because of its low business. Then the brand manager Richard renovated the old building under the guidelines of Taipei Tourism Administration. And it is what it looks like now. Although one in Taipei is a simply hostel for international backpackers, it also made a great comeback because of its graffiti and creativity. You know what? Taipei City is listed as top 5 city in the world to do graffiti. Great! I have to say, the hotel's name is sounds very original. Yeah! The hostel makes it interesting for guests to check in Facebook by telling people that they are staying in Taipei while marketing Taipei. With graffiti design inside and outside, the hotel itself is an art piece. Its external graffiti artist is Colasta. And its interior graffiti artist is Candy Bird, a famous one in Taiwan. These are all graffiti designs inside. This is Candy Bird design style. Yeah! There are many graffiti sites in Taipei cities, especially in the area where I live. There are many graffiti designs outside the stores, a lot in Shimani areas. You can also find them in the movie street and the shopping area too. Look at those cool paintings. Actually, in the back of Shimanding pedestrian zone, there's American Street with various creative graffiti designs on the walls of the buildings. Those graffiti are remarkable and fascinating. Down along American Street, there's a cinema theme park. You can also find diverse graffiti walls. They are all art pieces. I wish I had joined those graffiti artists. Me too. In Taipei, there are four districts which offer Eagle Foodly. They are Sili, Zhongshan, Zhongshan, and Wenshan District. Hey, look at there. They are all free zones for Taipei citizens to paint, draw, and color. Now we we'll pick zero riverside in Songshan District to the city. Look at the process of working on graffiti. It's extremely interesting. And we have a bad time of Christmas! You bet! graffiti by ourselves. Of course, to discover how old communities and small towns can be restored and again catch people's attention by means of graffiti and creativity. Hey Hanifa, what about the history of graffiti? Before we talk about the origin of graffiti, let's define what is graffiti. Graffiti is a study of cruel form of graffiti. Graffiti means the writing or drawing that are scrabbled or painted on the wall or other surface, especially in a public space. And look at those graffiti here. For the oldest form of graffiti, it's said to be originally from ancient Greece. We can also see graffiti practices in ancient Roma, Egyptian tombs, and constructions. Look at those wall carving and scribblings. For modern graffiti, it appeared in the late 60s. And then it prospered in the 70s and reached a peak in the 80s, especially in the southwest of New York City. In the 90s, graffiti spread worldwide. You can see graffiti everywhere. That's the rooftop graffiti you can see from Manhattan Bridge in New York City. Now people use graffiti to express themselves or simply to make spots for fun. There are also other successful examples in Taiwan. This is Taipei Artist Village Treasure Hill. It used to be a very old community. In Xingang district of Jiayi, we can find the biggest painting areas with interactive graffiti designs on the walls of the buildings. There are also some rival sites in Tainan, Zhanghua, and Taizong for foreign creative sites. This is Anhua Mural Village in Seoul, Korea. It used to be a very old and shabby community. Now it has become a famous attraction spot because of its graffiti and creativity. Now graffiti and creativity have made a great comeback for the almost forgotten villages and communities. 
our conclusion. We are so glad that we finally worked on our project. It's a strenuous task finished, but we did it. Oh, our ever paid off. I found that Taipei is a great place to do the graffiti. Taipei City is this F top 10 city for drinking coffee. Furthermore, it's the one of the best city for free Wi-Fi service. Hey, also one of the convenient city for backpacking traveling. It's even a top 5 city for graffiti. To me, I'm so delighted to see many old buildings and communities on board because of its graffiti and creativity. Our biggest reflection is... <laughs>